jail sucked this morning. Bonafide Hustler here. E-Money here. Today is a cold day. We're gonna try to find a garage sale or two and make some money. We're gonna take you guys with us. So let's hit the road. Let's go! What's going on guys? Chris Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of my warmed up spaceship. Oh, it's so warmed up now. That's good. E-Money, what's up? Hey, you what? see this? Yeah, I see it. Huh. Happy late birthday to you. <laughs> Yay! Happy late birthday to you. And you know who this guy is? All right, hold on, hold on. Who's on a $100 bill? Uh, hmm. Elon Musk. Uh, no. Elon Musk. No. He'll, he'll be on like a trillion dollar bill. E-Money. My birthday was recently? It was on the 28th of November. Oh yeah? Did I turn what? Wait, wait, wait. How old did I turn? Wow, she's like running in the middle of the street. Yeah, she is. Don't know why this lady's running in the middle of the street. <laughs> how old did I turn, E-Money? Turned the big four oh. Oh man. Four oh, zero, man. four zero. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Hey, hold on. Let's ask the viewers, does this look like bonafide? <laughs> Dude, kind of does. Looks like you. <laughs> no way. That is not me. Dang. How did they know? How did they know? I don't know, man. Jeez. Some cheddar Illuminati stuff going on right there. That went down last week, my uh, birthing day. But it's all good, because you know what? It's just a number, but birthdays are kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. This ride along, we're gonna go, this ride along, it's cold outside. We're gonna try to find some good garage sales. Surprisingly, yesterday when I was looking, I wasn't all pumped up about it. But today, this morning, when I re-looked at Yard Sale Treasure Map, it dropped in like an extra 20 sales around the area. And, or at least 20 dots. You still have to filter around and see which ones you wanna go to. But I think it's gonna be a good one today. We're gonna find some good stuff. E-Money, are you pumped up? Yeah, where's our first dot? Uh, it's down Palmer Lane. Today, our main objective is to find a time travel device. Now, it's really, well, it's kind of easy to find one, but everyone wants them so bad. So you gotta be there at the right place at the right time, and these time travel devices are awesome. Hey, money, what is the time travel device like? Can you just describe it a little bit? Uh, yeah, it uses a lot of forearm, uh, Acceleration and deceleration. That's weird. Okay, so will you help me find one? It may be hard to find yeah, though, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So today we're gonna try to find a time travel device and uh, you know, we'll see if it works. But anyways, we have a garage sale right down the road here and uh, it's a 7 a.m. or which is kind of surprising because it's 40 degrees outside. But I will go to this garage sale. If it's, if there's someone that wants to freeze their butt off and sell their goods, I'm willing to freeze my butt off and buy it. Oh, wow, we just turned the corner on this these two garage shells, what? Dang, there's one there, there's one there, and there's even one down the street over there. Oh my gosh, the Christmas spirit is super alive with these garage shells. Let's go make some money, E-Money, you ready? I'd love to make money, but you put me right at this tree. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. That's what you get for giving me $100. You're such a Grinch. Well, we didn't find anything there. Well, where do we go now? Oh, it's a well. <laughs> No. Money. <laughs> money. I got the joke though. Well, where do we go now, Benjamin Franklin? <laughs> well, you can put the camera away and stop recording. I can't believe it. So we go down like two houses and then two more garage sales. Okay, if we can't find anything here, I don't know what the hell is, I don't know what's wrong. But either way, we still need to find that uh, time travel device. We have to find one. All right, E-Money got a clothing rack. Two bucks, right? Two bucks. All right, so uh, that's our finds from like four garage sales. It's not good. That's not anything to brag about. I'm not bragging about a clothing rack, but E-Money needs it. E-Money needs it. Yes, to dry up all the money that I throw into my washing machine on accident to dry it up. The what? 
Whenever my money gets like into my washing machine, I oh. need to dry it up somehow. Okay, so all your cash is in your pockets and you have to dry it. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I got it, dude. I got it. it. Retina destruction in five seconds. Too much cheddar in the air. Oh my gosh, the cheddar sun has greeted us. We will not survive, E-Money. There's too much cheddar in our future. The future is too oh. bright. It's too bright, E-Money. You know what? That reminds me of uh, the Chronicles of Riddick, where he goes outside and the cheddar's so freaking intense that people are like, disintegrate. Oh yeah, E-Money, always pulling out some B-grade movie as a reference. All right, we got to our next garage sale. The cheddar sun is just wow. killing us. Anyways, we're gonna see if we can find anything here. There could be a bunch of random stuff. We'll see. We'll show you guys in one second what we find. Here we go. Let's 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 get you the finds if we find anything. Oh! Ah! All right. I spent three bucks. I got this briefcase, and uh, this will go in the booth for around uh, 25, 30 bucks. Nothing crazy. E money. What'd you get? Uh, I got two packs and a Polaroid, and this one does light up. So I guess I'll just shoot it and see what happens. Pay three bucks for all that, right? Yeah. And how much do you think it was sold for? I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. Oh, cool. Might give it as a gift. So you're gonna do uh, those uh, picks that rhyme with tick? You're gonna do tick picks? <laughs> the, the, you know what I'm talking about. Don't be sending anybody, you know, those kind of picks, E-Money. What picks? Yeah, I don't wanna say it, but you know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Say it. No, man. Yeah, I'm confused. Dude, don't be doing don't be doing American Apparel stuff with this, with this camera here, where you're like half naked and like sending pictures off to people. Dude, why e would I do that? I don't know, because you just look like the kind of person who would do that. What? I don't know, man. You just... Ow. Doesn't he look like the kind of person who would do that? E-Money, just what? admit it. No. <laughs> All right, our journey has brought us to Houndstooth Coffee right here. And today we're going to get a Cortado from this place, not a Dopio. We have the best Dopio in town, but we're going to get a Cortado today, which is uh, basically a Dopio with equal parts milk. E-Money, are you pumped? Yeah. 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 I want some coffee. Coffee. What do you want? Cortado, Cortado. All right, we found. Aha! I can't even look. Okay. Ah! Oops. We have a Cortado. Here it is. Here's the proof. I'm going to try it. Hmm. Mm. Ow. Eardrum splitting Oz here. Ah! Man. Ah! Woo! All right, I'm going to give it a two out of five on the Cortado scale. Because I've had some really good Cortados three in my life. Three out of five. Three out of five. Here's the three? Yeah. I only counted two, though. Yeah, I do not know how to use these things. After <laughs> all this time. I don't either. No, because normally I'm in, like, I'm used to the one that has, like, little shutter bubble mm. thing here. Mm. Come on! Mmm. Face of the person you take a picture of in there. All right, Emo is literally trying to figure out how to actually operate this Polaroid camera. This is crazy. Actually, it's crazy because I don't even know how to do it either. I think I did at one point in my life, but I just totally forgot. Next up, Emoney, we got a garage show right here. Take a picture of it with your Polaroid. Oh, you don't even know how to do that yet. I actually do, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, never mind. So you basically don't know how to do it. Okay. Uh, this looks terrible. I see glassware and this like, awful. this looks like literally the worst garage shell on earth. our teleportation devices here? Oh, by the way, the last garage shell that we went to, we saw a teleportation device. It was the original. It was the original. It was in box, Super but it was $15. Rare. It was too expensive. So we didn't buy it, but we saw one there. Pretty sure we're going to find one, dude. Are you going to find it? It's Mick Dundee. Hey, are you going to help me find one? Yeah. Okay. Mick Dundee. Mick, Dun wait, Mick Dundee's over there? Yeah, Mick Dundee. That's not a knife. <laughs> All right, we really need that device because I need to get my 30 seconds back that I wasted here. We're at the Goodwill. We're gonna make a really quick pass through here. We're gonna see if we can find this little time teleportation device. Oh, it's here for sure. You think it's here? A hundred percent. Are you sure? A hundred, okay. Dude, 98%, it's here. Ask your Polaroid if it's here. Uh, hello? Oh. Oh, I don't know how to use you, but it's here for 98%. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, we'll definitely teleport to the next spot and make some cheddar. Haha, <laughs> yeah, okay. 
I mean, there it's you here. heard it. I mean, the Polaroid said it's here, so let's go take a look. Hey, money, we're in here. What do we find? With tags? How much? Six ninety nine. Oh my gosh! Jackpot! Wow. Come on, let's go to the bag section. What we got? What we got? Okay, we're looking at the bags. Doing a really quick bag scan. If you want to learn how to do this stuff, you know where to find my guide. This is interesting. What'd you find there? Seven dollars for a Tumi Tech. It's a little bit smaller than I would want for a laptop bag. I could probably still fit a 15 inch laptop in there. Hmm, it's got some wear and tear. I mean the handle, this shoulder strap is completely destroyed. But as of right now, it's a pass. We'll see. Let's see this. Anytime you see anything that's wrapped like this, whether it be a, a desktop card or a modem or anything like that, always scan, oh, always. Oh. I wonder where all these came from, you money? Look to the right, it's in there. It's, in it's probably white. Okay, I'm looking. Bet you it's down here. Look down at the very bottom, I bet it's down there. It is here. Where is it? They don't have it here, you money. No more dudes, but that's not the that's not the device, man. It's not here, you money. I guarantee you. It is always here. It's always here? It's always. I know. I thought so too, but I can't find it. Where is it? We could really use this thing. We could really use one right now. Alright, picked up one pair of Vibram Five Fingers and uh, forgot what model these are, but anyways, brand new with tags, so can't go wrong, size 45, which is a really good size too. And then, uh, so these were like seven out the door, should be able to easily get 50 to 55 bucks for these on eBay. Not bad, first class rate as well. It's a good hustle. Alright, E-Money picked up two of those and two pairs of those, so we're going to continue on down the road and see if we can find any money. Let's go! Right, so as I was going down the freeway, I just got an offer for $300 on a pair of boots that I spent $10 on in a garage sale. I bought them like two months ago, man, two and a half months ago. Anyways, yeah, they are awesome. They're low Casey boots too. That would be a good hustle today. Uh, also in the back, there is a box that has to go to USPS. And uh, that is a $17.34 pair of walking shoes that sold yesterday for 109. <laughs> Those shoes to box. I'm telling you, man. Don't play around. E money. Yeah. Your latest shoe hustle. What was it? Uh, Z coils and Salewas. All right. So the Z coils. How much did you buy them for? How much did you sell them for? Maybe ten bucks. I bought them for, and I sold them for eighty-five. And the Salewas. Eighty-five. Yeah. What? And then the Salewas. They're they are hiking shoes. I don't find them often at all. And those were 15, I sold those for 55. Dang, those shoes to bucks, man. Shoes are so unprofitable, guys, don't ever hustle them. Especially in Austin, Texas, leave them all behind. They're such, it's such a bad investment. Do not ever resell shoes, don't do it. There's a garage sale sign, I see it. And this could be one of, not the last ones, but I, you know, I'm taking a bet on this one. I think it might Whoa, be all right. Look Whoa. at that camper. Whoa! Dang. Three house garage what? sale. Look at all this stuff. All right, what? we gotta find something here. All right, so I found a bag right there. It's like an old military bag. I paid five bucks for this. I'm gonna put it in my booth for around 30 to 50 bucks. Nothing crazy. Uh, definitely not that, like the Swiss style military backpack kind of stuff that's really pretty valuable is that kind of stuff. But uh, this is just a normal kind of uh, simple backpack. I wouldn't even consider this a rucksack or anything like that. But it has a cool, you know, flap top. It's not called flap top. It just has a cool drawstring plus a top, uh, and that's pretty basic. Pretty nice. Very weathered. Feels yeah. like a wax almost, but not quite. Thirty to fifty bucks all day in the booth. Not too bad. But that's good. We found, you know, they had a lot of good stuff here, but the prices were a little high. But there was some really, really good stuff here. So we're still, we're still on the hunt for the time teleportation device. We didn't find it here, but uh, now we are in Central Austin, and we're in a good part of town. And now we're going to go to a Goodwill. Actually, we're going to go to a pawn shop in one second and look for some video games because we need some. All right, we just came out of this pawn shop right here. We were looking for games. We found two games that are going to be paired up with Les Paul guitars for various systems. So we have a Wii one right here. We have a PS3 one right here. And uh, this is probably the lead game to really pair up, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh -huh. what is a Wii guitar, a Les Paul white guitar with a little cutout in it, 
plus that game. What does it usually fetch? What about on Amazon? This Wii one with the guitar, how much would it sell for? Probably about 30 to 35 bucks. And then this one right here, the PS3 one with the Les Paul guitar, no dongle, what on would that sell for? About $9,500. Wow, see, there you go. So check that out. Uh, and make sure that the games are in really good condition. You know, sur light surface scratch is not a big deal, but you don't want anything deep gouging or anything like that. All right, also popped on this thing right here. This is a Sony, uh, basically USB with internal storage uh, micro recorder. This is an ICD UX533 model. This one right here was $25 out the door, yielding a check of 58 on Amazon FBA with a 930 something rank in its category. So this is gonna sell pretty fast. And uh, yeah, just a tiny little thing. And you don't need very many accessories. You don't need any accessories for this kind of thing. Sometimes they'll take AAA batteries. You can also take the data off these with a USB thing that comes out the back on certain ones. But usually they take about one to two AAA batteries, which is right, right around here. When you get them open, I mean, when you actually turn them on and stuff like that, make sure you clear all the folders and all the data before you send it off. Did it. Finally, we found someone. Good. You burning up there? Dude. Cheddar one. Haven't you figured it out yet, E-Money? Ew! <laughs> Alright, thank you, sir. <laughs> bug out gear. Yeah, you know what a bug out is, E-Money? Yeah. You do not. Mm -hmm. What's a bug out, E-Money? It's when it's like end of the world stuff and you have a bug out pack and then you... How long does it usually last for? What true bug out. A true bug out is like what? I don't know. I think, it's, I think a bug out technically was it two to four days a survival pack? Something like that. I mean, this is actually made by bug out. That's the thing. Not worth it. Hey, we're supposed to find the time travel. Here. Hey, Here. the time. No. Here. Here. No way. What am I supposed to do with this? Here. What? All right. Uh, do a slap shot. Did you find one yet? Okay, so we didn't find anything at that Goodwill. We gave it our, our best shot. We also looked at the stuff in the bid cases, but just nothing made sense or was nothing made sense in a profit sense and a chatter sense. You know what I'm saying? All right, before we get to that uh, taco deli, we stopped by a thrift store and we found a time teleportation device. E Money found it. E Money? Yeah. Did you find it? Yeah. What is it? <gasps> Do you think it works? Where though? are you gonna go? I don't know. Where are you gonna go? Do you even think it works? I think so. We'll, we'll try it in the car. We're gonna buy it. You're gonna give me these. Is that for working out or is that for time travel? Time travel. You're gonna time travel with yeah. that thing? So we're back in the car, back in the spaceship. Let me see this thing. I mean, it looks like it is. Ooh. What? It's. I think it's gonna work. I think it's ready. I just. I just rotated it right here. You want to shake? You want? You want? You want to see if it works? You want to shake or you want me to shake? Here. I'll check it out. Okay. Where, right, where, where are we, we going? going? Dude, brace yourself, Shoot. dude. Brace yourself. All right, here we go. We've never done it before. Okay, I know. Yeah, just shake it uh, however you want to. All right. Okay, go, go. I don't feel Man, Am I doing it right? Try it again, one more time. Hurry up. I'm feeling something. I feel it, do you feel it? I feel it. Do you feel it? Dude, oh. it worked! It worked! Three dollars? Three that bucks, for man. It? it worked. That was a rough landing. I'm telling you, man. If you want to time travel on Instagram, hashtag Cheddar Shaker. That's right. Let's see your time travels. We're here at Taco Deli. The shaker has worked. Gosh, we got here in literally like what? How, how long did that take? Milliseconds. Uh, no, dude, let's go. This thing is nuts, man. That cheddar shaker is nuts, man. I'm talking about Davis, almonds, and Brazil nuts. It is nuts. I'm talking yeah. like lugs, screws, everything. <laughs> it's nuts. I'm talking, I'm talking testes and things like that. I'm talking nuts. <laughs> Any more? I'm talking about crazy people demented <laughs> nuts. <laughs> All right, we made it to go order, which is the smartest thing to do. We got some refried black beans, we got some chips, we have tacos left and right. And this is basically, uh, you know, the reward for a, uh, it wasn't the greatest hustling day, but it wasn't bad when we eat up these tacos. And then, uh, I don't know what else we'll get into, but anyway, 
Hey, money, you hungry? Starving. Cheddar Shaker totally, totally worked. Man, if you want to be featured on my channel, Cheddar Shaker hashtag. I will put the pictures up. All right, so the tacos were really good. I think we're going to end the vlog here. There's so much going on later on today, but uh, anyways, tacos were really good. Thanks for joining, and make sure you hit the like button because, you know, it's fun filming. It's fun editing. We look for the comments. We look for the likes. We do it for the gram. No, uh, we're pretty much done, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Smash that like button. Ow, that hurt. Um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. We'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Goodbye! Goodbye.